this online guitar lesson, Jimmy Dillon's going to show you how to play Steamroller Blues by James Taylor. To better learn this song, get the free guitar blueprint with all the chords, tabs, lyrics, and more at jimmydillon.com forward slash blueprint. It's totally free, and it'll help you learn this song a lot easier. It's blues time, Steamroller Blues by James Taylor. Uh, I've chose to do this in the key of E. I think I've seen him do it in G and F sharp and all over the place, but uh, for today I'm just going to make it simple and do it in E. <clears throat> and this is a basic 1-4-5 uh, blues in the key of E. It's got that low down feel to it. Uh, the intro goes from a uh, C sharp ninth. And what you do is you include that, you go get that high E string in there. This is a walk down, by the way. And then you get your thumb over here and come down half a step with these two fingers. And then. So it sounds like. Okay, so that's a C sharp. Nine, the E, and then half a step down with these fingers, and the F sharp on the bass, and then another half step down with these two fingers, and the B in the bass, and then an E chord, and then you walk up to a D, nine, a D sharp nine, a B sharp nine, sorry, Jimi Hendrix chord. So here's what it sounds like in uh, in practice. So for those of you that, that can't hit those chords and whatever, don't even worry about it because I just watched a video with my buddy Jason here of, of James doing it and he just starts right in with it. So if you want to just uh, err on the side of simplicity, you just start out with the, this little lick in E and I'll take it slowly for you. Okay, so that's a classic Jimmy Reed. Here's your E, you know, you got your second fret of the first finger. Just travel up, third finger, and then you pick up your D string here. So here's what it sounds like in, in, the, in the up to speed. The second chord is your A chord, but you only use these first two, and it's the same pattern. Exact lick is the first one, so well I'm a steamer for you, baby. To the A. I'm bound to roll all over you. Hey, I'm a steamer for you, baby. I'm bound to roll all over you. Back to E. Seventh, inject your soul, hey, some sweet rock and roll. And I do a little blues turn around here. So I'm coming up to a seventh here. Get your second finger on the second finger on the B string, third fret, third finger on the G string, fourth fret. And just walk it down chromatic. Or you can go back to the... But I think for simplicity's sake, especially if you're not an advanced player, just do the... Hammer on that G string. And then to a B, or B, B sharp 9. Uh, that's, that's basically the form of the song. And here's what it sounds like. Getting that feel though, you can either do it with a pick or, or with your thumb. Now you can 
You can come down and muff, muffle that too if you want to do some little muting it. in there like that same look that I showed you the turnaround. So to keep it really really simple you can just do the I see water for you baby I'm about to roll all over you So I do it, you know, my own my own version of that. But uh, if you want to play it simple, you can just stick to the just the little. Start right out with that. If you want to do it more complex, you can do the the intro. Either way, it's a funky little blues. And then if you want to throw some licks in there while you're playing it. That last turnaround I did was exactly like this one, but I did it with a third finger on the uh, G sharp, so it looks like a looks just like a D seventh form, and just go like. So it's just chromatically walk it down. So these are all options, you know, and, and I've seen, like I said, I've seen James do it a million different ways everywhere from solo when he first started to the band. So hopefully that'll take you inside the song a little bit and you can come up with your own version of Steamroller Blues. So I heard a story about Steamroller Blues that James Taylor, when in his early days before he became popular and before he did the, the Apple uh, record that he did with Paul McCartney and those guys, um, he was in a band called The Flying Machine and they were playing down in, uh, in the village in New York City. And uh, I guess at that time there was a lot of uh, sort of white boy blues going around, you know, bands coming in from Long Island and mistakenly playing, you know, if they thought if you play loud, you're, you're good at the blues. And they, he said they were just god awful. And so uh, he decided, well, I'm going to write my own version of the blues and, and call it Steamroller Blues. And it's, it's a super sexy song that's been covered by everyone from Elvis to you name it and done m many different ways. But I, that was, I guess, the uh, sort of the impetus for him to write that that song, and uh, they were they did like a long, like a, something like a six month uh, thing in the in Greenwich Village, and I think that's sort of how he got his chops together. But um, but he, I, you know, I think James is a really cool blues player, and and just the fact you know that intro. shows his sophistication in terms of what he can do with the blues but he can growl and get after it too so watch him on YouTube and you'll you'll check out his early versions of that and then later on he does it with his you know full band and horn section and the whole deal I'll see you down the road thank you so much for checking out this online guitar lesson with Jimmy Dillon remember you can get the free guitar blueprint for this song that'll help you learn it a lot easier at jimmydillon.com forward slash blueprint it's totally free and it's yours to keep.